I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye. I hate early morning flights. 5 a.m. Yeah. It's your boy King Cove, and I know, I know, you guys were expecting the familiar face. You guys were expecting to see Wendy. And Wendy is usually in front of the camera, you know, giving you guys this amazing experiences of what she does. But today is the takeover. She has given me the opportunity to share with you guys my experience in Cartagena, Colombia. Now, I know a lot of you guys have questions about, you know, how to travel during this pandemic and how to go to certain places and especially with the new CDC guidelines that came out that you need to have a negative test before you can return back into the United States. I know a lot of people are scared of going outside and traveling outside the country because there's the question, what if I test positive? How am I able to get back into the country? Do I have to quarantine outside? Do I have to stay at a place for two more weeks or 10 more days, whatever it is, until I come back and I don't want to spend um, excess money or I don't want to, you know, stay somewhere else and put my job in jeopardy or whatever it is but you know we went to Cartagena Colombia we we navigated it was a it was a guys trip and I'm here to share with you guys our amazing experience what to do what not to do you know things to avoid and things to do places to go eat so come with me on this journey and allow me to show you Cartagena Colombia all right so first of all we left on a Wednesday morning, you know, it's a, it's a collab trip between the DC guys and the guys from Jersey. So a couple of the guys were coming over from DC, a couple of the guys were leaving from the Jersey area. So we left in the morning because most of the time you won't be able to find a straight flight depending on what location you're in. So you have to do a transit. So our transit was in Florida. Shout out to my buddy Orlando. Orlando hooked us up with uh, some amazing guys in Cartagena that were able to pick us up from the airport and take us to our Airbnb. Alright, so we just arrived in Cartagena. Got my boy Mark here with me. Pretty much the process was very easy. As long as you have your COVID test, as long as you have your immigration form filled out, you should be good. Um, before you get on the flight in uh, your home state in the United States, they're going to ask to see both the COVID test and the immigration form. And then once you get here, what's up? Did you back from here? Okay. Because I was really interrupted. Uh, once you get here, they check both. Then, like a 10 minute process, and you should be you know, out. You should be fine. So, we're about to get in our, our van and head home. And we'll let you guys know what's up. All right, see you soon. Now, we stayed in the old city in Cartagena. Now, the old city is a walled city around, you know, this beautiful, you know, blissful region of Cartagena you know from the outside it, it just looks like like an old you know walled city but once you you go through it you know it's very beautiful the art the decor everything is just nice our Airbnb was very magical it was a four bedroom and I believe five bathroom um, apartment located in the heart of the old city you know right in this in the central area of the old city in the Plaza de Fernandez in Madrid area, I think it was called. Our hostess Claudia was really, really, really great with us. So before we booked it, we were in contact with her, you know, letting her know our issues, our concerns. We, we asked her to hook us up with, you know, places where we could go get our COVID test for us to be able to return back. She was able to provide us with um, numbers and contact information to these places and we were able to go get um, our COVID test as you will see later on. You know, a very beautiful place, um, as you can see right now beautiful bedrooms it had this rooftop with a nice jacuzzi overlooking the entire Cartagena
So part and package of our apartment in Cartagena was Claudia. Now let me tell you about Miss Claudia. Miss Claudia was really amazing. She was our chef slash our maid. She took care of us. She cooked our foods. She made our beds. She cleaned every single day. She disinfected the place. And it was just such a luxury to have her around each and every day taking care of us. So part of this Airbnb comes with Claudia. Hola, Claudia. So Claudia is our, our maid, our chef. She's in charge of uh, making us food and also cleaning up our apartment um, every morning. So we just went grocery shopping and she's about to make us something nice to eat. And let me tell you about the foods that she made us. As you guys can see, these foods were very delicious original authentic colombian meals each and every day and we couldn't be more appreciative of her and having her around each and every day to cater to our needs So after dinner, we decided to just sit around, and lounge around in the rooftop, you know, just enjoy the vibes, look around Cartagena. Uh, most of us were really tired, so we decided to have an early night so we could wake up early the next day and have a full-blown day in Cartagena, Colombia. Good morning. It's officially, what, day two in Cartagena, Colombia? Um, Last night we were really really tired after dinner so we packed it in early and went to sleep. A couple of the guys are still sleeping. It's around 6.30 a.m. right now in Cartagena and luckily I woke up to catch this beautiful sunrise. We don't know pretty much what we're gonna do today but um, we know we're gonna hit the beach and I have a couple of local experiences that I put together myself from uh, Airbnb so I'm gonna get to those. So hopefully it should be an action-packed day and I can't wait to show you guys. So next morning we woke up and as you can imagine we were really hungry. Claudia was already there in the morning ready to make us breakfast. So we decided to go to the local supermarket, you know, just to check it out, you know, live like a local, go buy some groceries. So we're in the supermarket right now trying to get some, some stuff that we're going to need for our stay here. Um, Claudia is at the apartment making breakfast, so we came out to get a few things uh, to add to it. How are you feeling? Good, good, good. It's, good. Been, it's been awesome. So far, so good. I like I like the supermarket here, though. Most of the stuff um, look really fresh. Um, really affordable, too. Got my man right here. After having brunch, we decided to tour the old city, you know, we walked around, checked out places. And one thing I can tell you is people there would notice that you're not from there, right? You know, they can see that you're from a different place and people will come up to you, you know, to try and sell you things. People will come up to you to, you know, to try and talk to you. The, the one thing that I enjoyed so much were the kids that were rapping in the streets.
Yeah, we do a bunch of music here, that's what I mean. Yeah, we do a bunch of music here, that's what I mean. Yeah, we do a bunch of music here, that's what I mean. Yeah, we do a bunch of music here, So, basically, part of being in, in Cartagena and walking around in the streets is having to deal with, um, you know, the street hawkers trying to get you to buy everything that they're selling, um, kids on the streets just rapping to you, just people basically just come up to you and try to get you to buy, you know, the things that they're selling. So, it's, it's, it's up to you to, you know, to be polite as possible and just say no, you're not interested. So as you're walking, they're gonna they're gonna keep coming to you. So you just you just gotta keep walking and you know you just gotta say no and just keep walking. And that's that's the best way to deal with them. So <laughs> So after walking around and touring the old city for a bit, we went over to the clock tower. The clock tower is kind of like the central area of the city where, you know, you're going to see most people, you know, walking around, most people selling stuff, a couple of shops and a couple of rooftop bars um, and restaurants over there. So there was one in particular that we, um, we decided to go check out and have a, an early um, dinner and kind of give Miss Claudia a break from cooking for us you know we, we wanted to kind of like have the experience of eating um, in restaurants and also having home-cooked meals by Miss Claudia so we checked out this rooftop restaurant and the views from there were amazing listening to good music we went back to our apartment and we got dressed to head out for the night now there was one local that I came across on Instagram um, danger my boy danger the hookup shout out to danger um, I hooked up with him on Instagram uh, he gave me a couple of good deals he told me hey when you're down here just let me know so I hit danger up I said hey danger you know we're out here we're looking to have a good time so what do you have for us so danger came picked us up from our apartment and we went over to Club Delirium. Now, the club was pretty packed, you know, maybe more packed than it should have been, um, but, you know, Danger made sure that we had our own section located on the second floor, right in the corner where we were not in contact with a lot of people. So we stayed there the whole time, you know, it's, it's great, great music, great vibes, you know, a lot of people showed up, people showed love to us when they, when they saw us, we, we, we came across a couple of people that were in town from different parts of the world also. After Club Delirium, we went back to our Airbnb, you know, packed it in for the night because the next day was going to be full of adventure and that was the day that I was looking forward to the most. So we woke up today, um, first thing today is to get COVID tested um, as part of the new CDC uh, rules and guidelines. If you do travel outside the country and you're coming back, 
you do need to get uh, a COVID test in order to return back to the United States. So it could either be uh, an antigen or a PCR test. So we're here to get tested now. So prior to leaving the United States, we were in contact with this place um, that did the COVID test. And we, 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 made, we made a deal with them. Um, part of the deal came with a driver to come get us from our Airbnb to take us to the location to get our COVID test. It was pretty fast, pretty smooth. You know, you get in by 15 minutes, you're out. And it was really rapid. The results came in about four hours. So by the time we got back, ate some breakfast and got ready, the results were in. And you know, thank God everyone in our crew tested negative. So we knew we were okay to get back home. All right, so we're all done with the test. It took about 15 minutes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, took, it took about 15 minutes. Um, they're gonna send the results to us in our email. We're heading back to the apartment. So some girl went to Mexico. Because they're gonna come back. Uh -huh. Now, part of my traveling experience now is to look up airbnb experiences in every city that i go to right so airbnb has some amazing experiences that local people put up and they share with you know tourists that come into town and i i, I highly recommend it that whenever you go to a city you look up um the experiences on airbnb and you know you probably find something that you really want to do that's really affordable you can immerse yourself in and feel like you're a local. So you guys know me, right? I love riding bikes. In Amsterdam, I was riding bikes. In, in Paris, we were riding bikes. So whatever city that I go to, I, I just want to be part of it. I just want to ride bicycles around. So when I found this experience on Airbnb, I had to do it, right? It was a, it was a bicycle tour of the old city, places like Gethsemane, riding around, you know, Cartagena and kind of like getting a tour. So it's not like your, your average tour where you walk around and you see places. W with this one, it's more like fast paced because you're on a bicycle. All right, so we're back from taking the COVID test. We took a shower, we got ready. Uh, we took a little tour mm -hmm. in the old town and now yep. we're here at our Airbnb experience reservation. That's right. So this is one of the experiences that I wanted to do in Cartagena, yeah. That's right. So we're gonna be riding bikes uh -huh. throughout the old city. We're gonna go to areas like Gethsemane mm -hmm. and other areas that our tour guide is gonna take us to. So yeah. we're right here in Plaza de San Diego. Right. We're getting the bikes ready right now. And what's cool about this experience is that these bicycles come with gimbals attached to them so you can put your um, your phones or whatever device you have and it can record the experience for you so in my case I have my GoPro and my phone I'm gonna hook up my GoPro to my head and I'm gonna put my phone right next to it so this should be fun I can't wait to show you guys Welcome to Cartagena, my friend. Thanks, Giovanni. We are going to have a trip for two hours around Cartagena, uh, biking uh, over the walls. Right. Uh, we are going to have fun. <laughs> Thank you for choosing our tour. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Time to go. Strap up. All right, so we're all set up. We all have our bikes ready. Um, I'm all set up. I have my helmet and I have my GoPro attached and we're ready to roll. The crew is all strapped up and we're just waiting for Giovanni to lead the way. Let's go.
saw it, they all just stored in Cartagena. Nice. It's green, it's cheap, and they have the coldest beer. Nice. Of course. <laughs> So we want to thank the fans for giving us this nice experience in Cartagena, riding around the city and showing us all these lovely places. So thank you very much. If you're ever in Cartagena, Giovanni is the guy to look up on Airbnb experiences for a lovely tour. Okay. So, Jay, thank you. We enjoy a lot. I have fun with you guys. Thank you for coming, enjoy Cartagena. It's a beautiful city. We need more tourists, we need you. Thank you. <laughs> you so after the bike ride was over, we were really tired. We went back to a lovely home cooked meal by Miss Claudia. You know, Miss Claudia, never never disappointed us dinner was lovely after dinner we decided to go back to club delirium because it was a friday night and we wanted to see how the people in cartagena got down on on a friday night but unfortunately for us you know the night was lived short as the cops showed up and shut everything down because like i said there were too many people in there to begin with so it was only right that they kicked people out and no, they shut it down. We had rented this big, beautiful catamaran boat, you know, to take us on the cruise. And of course, you know, our boy Danger came with us. Um, we, the boat was kind of pretty slow, you know, so we, we went over to one island. We were supposed to go to multiple islands, but, you know, we woke up pretty late. We, we procrastinated a little, so it cut, it cut our time short a little. We're supposed to have the boat from 8 a.m to 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. but we ended up going on the boat at 11 a.m. so it cut our time really short. Now on the boat we really enjoyed ourselves, we played good music, we had some good drinks, we had some good food and you know your boy had to show out with my Instagram poses and my Instagram pictures so you know check out my Instagram link down below and you can see some of the cute pictures that I, I, I took and some of the pictures that you know the group took on the boat. Now when we got to our first island we had some you know jet ski riders around that came up to us and said hey you guys want to ride in the jet ski for a small fee 30 minutes to an hour and a couple of the fellas decided to go in a jet ski and we had this funny moment where my buddy Isaac you know fell in the water and felt like he almost drowned. It was such a funny experience. <laughs> How was it, brother? Yo, I nearly fucked up, man. I nearly fucked up my life, man. Got your check, man. It's all good, bro. So far as I'm alive, I don't give a fuck what it's on the tape, man. Shit. Now, I don't get to go on too much guide trips because, you know, my number one travel buddy is my sister, you know, so we always do these travel things together. But whenever I get the chance, you know, we always show out, we always have a good time. And I want to thank each and every one of you guys for coming along and for making this really, really special for me, you know. Shout out to my buddy Charles, aka Commotion. Shout out to Isaac Obrimpon, I see you. A hey, shout out to my boy Gully, I see you doing your thing in DC. BK Mark, keep doing your thing. My boy Dollar, you already know what it is. Shout out to Dion Daddy, aka Gideon. Thank you guys so much for coming on this trip and for making the experience so much better and so much lovely. If I went by myself, this wouldn't have been as amazing as it was going with you guys. Cartagena is amazing. It is beautiful. The people are lovely. I would recommend everyone take a trip there if you can. If you're watching this and you have the desire to travel, all I say is just do your research, pick a destination. Don't let anyone change your mind. 
and just go live it out, okay? So on our last day, we woke up. Um, it was a Claudia Appreciation Day. Um, we had our buddy, Obrim Pong, say a couple of words um, from all of us. We were very appreciative of her for the time that she invested in us by making us delicious meals, making our beds every day, and just pretty much disinfecting the place each and every day, right? So, Claudia, we thank you very much um, for everything that you did for us. It was amazing having you around, and thank you, thank you once again. So this is a Claudia appreciation. What? And a goodbye. What? For taking care of us and making our stay here wonderful. And um, this is from everybody here, including me, to you. <laughs> <laughs> gracias, gracias. We out. Let's go. Right. Um, oh, yeah, thank you. Uh, bye. Bye. So it's officially our last day here in Cartagena, Colombia. Um, we just got to the airport. It's around 2 o'clock p.m. Our flight is at 4 p.m. Just got here early. Um, you know, we don't really know how the process here works, so we just got here early just to avoid any type of confusion with the COVID protocols and everything. But um, woke up today. Uh, Took a stroll on the beach, went to a couple of um, shops to pick up a few things to give to the family back home, but all in all, it was a good trip. It was a good four days. The weather was really great, sunny all, all, all four days. Um, we can't be uh, happy enough and appreciative enough with the, the people that we met here that helped us and supported us to navigate. You know, most of us don't, well, all of us don't even speak Spanish, but we were able to navigate for four days with their language barrier. So we're about to go check in our bags right now and we'll be off to Fort Lauderdale, Florida and then a transit flight back home. So I'm end of vlog here for now. Thank you, Wendy, for giving me the platform to showcase Cartagena to your followers and to your viewers. And like always, subscribe, comment, and like this video if you enjoyed this uh, bro trip, maybe Wendy can give me an opportunity to do one more, but all the same, comment, subscribe, uh, like, share. If you have any questions about how we're able to do this uh, and navigate throughout the whole uh, trip um, with the COVID protocol and everything, just um, comment yeah. below or hit me up on my Instagram. I'll drop it right below and I'll see you guys later. Enjoyed your city. Hold on one second. Yeah, hello? Oh, yeah? Okay. I am with it. All right. All right, bet. All right. So, it's not a question of if we're ever going to go back. Now, it's a question of when we're going to go back. I just got a call that, you know, the fellas want to do another guy's trip. So, I got to go.